Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Blade Idol with runes explained. So if you Blade Idol player or perhaps Idol gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then hit that like button as well. Also just a quick reminder guys that there is obviously a giveaway running in the background and I'm gonna draw a cash prizes on the 23rd of April. So if you haven't participated already make sure you check out my channel or perhaps you're gonna find a link to a giveaway video under this very one you're watching right away. But now going back to a main subject obviously runes it's one of the latest addition to the game where we already got existing multiple different systems where we can passively boost our stats. You will unlock this very game content when completing stage 40, 50, and from there you actually will start dropping a brand new item which is called a rune chest. Obviously on that very first stage you're gonna just drop a magic grade. So if we tap on to inventory and gonna check out what I'm currently dropping in the supplies itself, I'm talking here about obviously a legendary tier rune but we need to consider I'm dropping them on a stage 7350. So obviously as you're gonna keep progressing, the higher tier of the rune chest you're going to get and therefore the higher chance of getting actually better runes. So let's obviously check out the system itself. So I'm gonna head over into a growth section, scroll all the way to the right hand side and this is where we've got our system in place. So when it comes to a desired set, I definitely recommend that you will be going with a Rune of Doom, as this is the most offensive set. Bear in mind the other sets are also very important, so whatever you do in a game, you might be still relying heavily on other runes, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So currently as it stands, I'm actually working towards three different sets. So obviously a numbers which are now associated um, alongside on a screen, which allow you to switch a complete full set. So if I tap on a set two, which for me it's now a full defense set, that will change into different skills, different piece of equipment, different figures, etc. So you're actually able to associate multiple different ways and then just by clicking a button you switch in. So as it stands, number one is everything what I do with offense and grind, number two um, it's my defense and number three it's everything related to a gold or experience farm. So because this system is a fairly new I definitely encourage you to focus on a rune of doom but a different system which I'm gonna show you what they support as well are also great and at some point you will definitely need them to actually go and do certain things in a game. So as mentioned earlier, Rune of Doom, obviously primary one, this one will actually boost offensive stats such as attack, critical damage or skill damage. When it comes to a set of vitality, we're gonna boost your defensive stats such as HP and defense. When it comes to Rune of Focus, we're actually gonna boost penetration and accuracy. And finally, when it comes to a Wisdom set, we're gonna boost here Gold and Experience. So basically, as I just mentioned, these sets would be then associated with my third full build and a Vitality with a second one where I go with Defense. And especially in the later stages, you actually need Defense more than you actually thought and more than you ever did it in the early stages. As a certain aspects of the game, you have to go either in a hybrid build or extra defensive in order actually to survive next aspects of the game. But as it stands, Rune of Doom is what I'm currently gearing and I'm gonna show you my setup in just a second. So actually, what do we see here on the, on the screen as well? So I think the first and the main part of the explanation it needed for this slot and a cost associated with. So the slots is obviously something you will be unlocking as you're gonna progress within a game. Your first slot will be unlocked on that stage 40, 50. And if I tap on a slot in here, obviously you can see more in details. So we got a 12 total slots in this very game. And as you see, I have managed to unlock now eight. Still got a four more to go. So if I tap on this lock tile, I see what are the requirements. So basically you will have to clear a certain stage to unlock new slot. And once you unlock the slot, then you will have to select a certain runes, which will also have a certain limit when it comes to associated cost. So again, if we go back to our rune of doom setup here, actually every single tier of the runes itself will have a six different runes. And basically they will be going in pretty much a strength on its own. So as you see, 
The first rune will actually boost 341 attack, where the second one 800, then 1.3k and so on and so on. Bear in mind these runes are on a different upgrade level. But basically what that also is associated, that the weakest rune will only cost one, and then obviously as you're gonna keep progressing, this will be more and more expensive. When it comes to these levels and a plus one, you actually will be able to upgrade individual runes by having actually a spare ones, and then every few levels, you're gonna have a limit break. So it's basically a milestone when you now break into a new heist and you need a certain amount of runes to do it. So basically that also nicely shows that if I now head over to a rune three and then four, because this rune is actually on level 19 and plus one, and if I tap on a next one, this rune is actually weaker. So therefore, because we've got a multiple different runes, and obviously for your weakest tier, it will be always easier to get these runes, this is where you're gonna start looking and crafting a best strategy. Because this rune actually cost six, it doesn't actually mean that this is gonna be a, the best at a time for you to equip. So if I would have to select obviously from these very ones, I would definitely skip a this Rune of Doom which cost 5 and I would definitely select this one instead. This not only allows me to boost more attack but that also cost less in order to then equip these desired slots. And because we actually got a max amount of cost we can associate with, meaning effectively I won't be able to go with a rune 6 on a magic tier, then go with a rune 6 on a rare, and so on and so on. So despite these by default will be the best runes the moment you've got all of them maxed out, you won't be able to associate all top tier runes due to the limitation with the cost. And because we already discussed slots, if you tap on this increase max cost, this again will show you a certain requirements of what you need to achieve in order to increase that max cost. Alright, and then now looking at my current a set, is if we tap on a slot itself, as you see there is a different runes associated with. So if I'm gonna tap back on that, I'm gonna start with a this very first one. So this is actually a stronger mythical rune when it comes to attack itself. Normally when you get a chance of selecting a um, special box, try to go for a strongest offensive one and this way I have managed actually to squeeze it all the way to level 10. So I'm boosting here skill attack and a critical damage. Then I'm going with a next three legendary ones to boost respectively a skill attack. And actually I'm skipping a next free skill attacks because I actually see more benefit of equipping a plus one breakthrough, a super critical damage one. Also now this gives me a quite good boost when it comes to how much it costs and again equipped effects. As you see I could actually go with a um, four cost which gives me less. So hence I'm going with a free cost. And finally I just need to top up some of the cost to make it a maximum of the 30, hence I'm going with this extra critical damage. And then what else you need to remember is this great upgrade effect. So despite I have mentioned you should be going predominantly with a rune of doom, obviously every single one of runes will matter because despite if you actually equip in runes or not, if you will keep upgrading runes you're gonna get these additional benefits. So as you see, just by upgrading a magic runes and I managed to get them by 10 levels, I have managed to now unlock 750 attack, then if I upgrade all magic runes by 20 levels you're gonna have 1500 and so on and so on. Then you're gonna have a new boost when it comes to rare one, again this uh, criteria has been met, then we've got epic and so on and so on. And you're gonna have the same principle when it comes to any other type of runes, therefore I know it cost moonstone which is a brand new currency as well and we need absolute tons of it. But once you've got some spare, I definitely recommend. So despite if you're actually equipping rune or not, you actually getting yourself additional passive bonuses. And then one more thing before I wrap up, at some point as you're gonna keep upgrading your runes to a certain level, you'll be able to then assign additional option. So this works in exactly the same way as you would assign option to any other part of your gear. In here obviously we need to reach a certain limit break and therefore we will be able to associate a options itself. I would definitely recommend going here a further offense, so we go in here with a super critical damage, 
option attack or super option attack. Again, these uh, values are respectively low, but if we just tap on a strongest one I currently have, which is a mythical, in here we start getting to a serious numbers with 98, 122 and nearly 10% on a super option attack. So that's obviously even further boost to these offensive uh, options we're talking about this very build and obviously respectively if I would go with something defensive I would be selecting a more defensive stats. So that will be it guys as a quick introduction to the system itself. Obviously this is still quite early phase but at the moment as it stands go with the full offense but bear in mind and start working on in a background on this defensive and miscellaneous set and at the same time keep upgrading all the runes as mentioned just a minute ago. It will give you a extra passive bonus in the long run. So that will be it guys, thank you very much for watching and as always I'll see you next time.